Hello, hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel for MDE tutorial Microsoft Defender 4 Endpoint. And today video we are going to talk about the action center and the file submission in Microsoft Defender 4 Endpoint. So let's jump into the console. So now I am in the Microsoft 365 Defender that is a security.microsoft.com. So let's go to the action center and the submission so let's understand the action center so if any of the actions are pending for any of the machines that it will shows here so usually uh, uh with the automatic investigation that will automatically resolve but if anything alert is pending to investigate that you can see under the pending tab let's go to the history so here you will get the history of uh, if any detection has detected like any file quarantine file is happen or the virus scanning is happen so mostly this portal is used to uh, to check the uh, file quarantine in which file where it was detected or it is quarantined or not so you can get such detail over here so here is a time stamp you can take a one day or one week or you can give the time range as well so in the last 24 hour we have the two logs one is the start scanning so here the antivirus scanning was happen and one is for the file quarantine so let's concentrate over the file quarantine which file was quarantined uh, on which machine and here is a time range for one week 30 days six months so you can select uh, the date range as well now here is a column if you want to see a uh, start action when the action was started and uh, when the action was ended so you can um, you can uh, select the column as well here so file path where is the file path so it will give you the exact the file path here and the certain columns are over here so you can uh, uh, select based on your requirement so now let's go here and see the action uh, for this file what are the action has taken on this so uh, action started on 12th and it was ended on the almost the same time the investigation id is 10 and the file was quantized so what was the file was quantized you can see it here so from this folder c drive once user main tool so this file was quantized because defender has suspect it's a suspicious file and this is the exact file name so this detail and the file path would be same only and it is the entity uh, entity type is a file and where it was detected on this particular laptop so on this laptop this was detected and decided by so that comes under the microsoft defender av and the status is completed so that file was successfully quantized so a automated action uh, uh, automated action on the entity such as a file process or uh, uh, file process uh, action was taken actually on this machine to contain this file so now let's go something in depth on this file what we can do okay so what was the file so action was completed for this file and uh, here if you want like uh, the comment and the history you can put in the comment and you can save it so the entry was the pre-remediated oh come on entry was the pre-remediated by the microsoft defender and here you can get the more details so where was the file so file name was uh, service manager tool man chip so this file was contained uh, by this defender and it's a windows 10 the folder directory was uh, c drive windows and if you want to check with the advanced hunting so you can go here and uh, the new portal will open to check this file uh, whether it was quantized or not so you can check uh, with your the advanced hunting as well now here is a uh, medium so eight active alerts in the four incidents so what we have we have four active alerts currently and uh, uh, there was the four incidents generated so if we see the more details uh, the incidents type uh, WACAT malware was prevented uh, by the uh, one endpoint so all these informations we can find out about uh, this uh, this um, um, quantized file was quantized 
so all other information is you can collect it from here so now uh, let's go to the investigation piece from here so here you seen this window has opened about this malware WACATC and uh, we can see this action are taken so the action the investigation start time is still it running and uh, it's running last 12 minutes so uh, this is status because recently i i downloaded a file which is infected for the testing and that's how the investigation is running over here the investigation graph the alert uh, received wkc malware was detected and uh, this investigation is started so now the, the device name is uh, this device one uh, this name file is prevented for one and uh, the entity anyway it's got quarantine there is a no harm for this machine but if you need the some more investigation you can go from here so what are the alerts we have related to uh, um, this virus on this machine so we can see the malware was the prevented and uh, this detected on this particular one machine so here is a alert it's showing is a unassigned if you want to assign this alert you can go and you can assign it to yourself as i show you uh, under the incidents and alert and then you can close that alert as well from here it's a device detail and uh, the evidence entity uh, you can see in here now uh, let me go to the okay here you can do the cancellation also for this investigation and uh, the device so this virus is detected only on the one machine that is a laptop windows 10 and it's fully automated so investigation count is 8 so this uh, malware has detected eight times in the across uh, you can say the globally it was in, uh, detected on totally eight machines now here is the evidence which we can see so here is the evidence this file was detected this tool and uh, the service manager tool so inside this zip we have the one a uh, file called uh, the service manage tool.exe that is a malicious and it's blocked uh, by this so if you needed some more in depth just click here and can see uh, the more details it's a malicious and it was deleted and here are uh, like uh, the titles on which name it the alerts was triggered so if you want to go the view the incidents queue then it will redirect to the incidents and from there you can uh, assign the ticket or you can close or you can just uh, uh, ignore these types of alert so uh, guys uh, let me go to the file again the go to the action center and i can show you the something more let me go to the history so now let's investigate the more thing how we can collect this file so to collect this files you need to go with the alerts and just find out the alerts related to this uh, infection so now uh, this uh, investigation status is still is running uh, uh, but yeah still we can try to collect this so once it's done or even you can resolve uh, these types of uh, incidents or the alerts so now here uh, what the details we can get you can go here and, 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 and yeah yes the active alerts related to this we have the four active alerts and from the one devices user is zero mailbox is zero and apps is zero so we have uh, this uh, four alerts related to, uh, to the same virus infection and on the one devices 
so if we talk about the globally if it uh, on how many machines it happened let me see the infected assets yeah so it's the only the one assets infected till now in our organization so let me click here on this url and we'll get the some more details so uh, this is the original name the file was uh, quarantined that is a service manager tool and uh, this is the organization device till now the three devices were impacted with this uh, this infection and the worldwide the entire world of uh, the five devices were impacted so might be the two devices were impacted in the other organization as well so here you can see in the first scene in the 4th August 2021. So this uh, tool actually I only created this tool and uh, this tool was detected as a virus by the defender. So it was detected first on the 4th August and the last scene is today. Uh, now uh, let's go to this download files. So we can collect this file and we can send it to the microsoft for virus infection if you feel it's a false and positive so now here to reason for downloading uh yes uh to sup to submit to submit it right microsoft for viruses scanning because i feel this file is a genuine now you want to set a password so let me see once one two three and generate the download link and now just download it so now this file has downloaded and uh, you can uh, use this file to submit let me open this and here is the my file so this file I collected from uh, there uh, because this file was um, detected as a virus and it was quarantine. So I collected this file from the remote machine where it was detected. And now we are ready to submit this file to the Microsoft. So let's see how we can submit this file to Microsoft. Uh, for the submission, let's go to the submission part uh let's go to the file so here we have email email attached url user reported and uh, now we have uh, ads new submissions files the browse and uh, let me go to the path i i keep it this file here and let's submit this file to the microsoft so now this file is um, downloading so unwanted software malware should seen in the category as malware unwanted software or the clean uh, the choose it's a medium and uh, not for the Microsoft the file is getting WRONG wrongly so anything you can mention is the file were detected the uh, wrongly so during the execution so file is getting detected or uh, wrongly detected so now you can submit it or you want to show it so you can submit this file now this file will goes to the microsoft and uh, they will start investigation whether it's a false and positive or not so actually there are the powershell script which is trying to connect with the another machine and that's why this file has uh, as detected as a malware because it's this script will try to pull the data from the other machine so now the item submitted has done and that file has reached to the microsoft now let's click on done so let me refresh this so now here you can see in under the submission uh, the file this file has submitted to the microsoft by the submission id who has submitted when it, when it was submitted the reason for submitting it's a suspect as a malware and uh, the status is a sample collection so this file is submitted if it is not a virus then microsoft will exclude from his scanning so guys uh, uh once it done then you can see the more details about it uh this is under the submission only it's not the finalized and once it done then you can see in it here the review result 
uh, will be a success so uh, you can see in that result once it's done so thank you guys for watching this video see you soon in my next video so if you have any doubt or uh, just feel free to comment me or you can ask any of the questions related to different of our endpoint so thank you guys